So Gerardo, you and I have been talking about Open RAN for a number of years here, and it feels like things have uh, finally started to reach this point of maturity where we're not focused on working out interoperability issues, we're focused on scaled global deployments. But I'm just kind of curious to get your take, having the opportunity to take a look around Mobile World Congress and engage with your customers. Yeah, actually uh, it's been a great year for us because we have moved from development to commercialization. So we have two great commercial deployments that are happening, that have happened last year and happening this year. One is in Vietnam with Vietel, where we have a full open run massive MIMO deployment uh, that will be with our DragonWin X100 accelerator card and the QRU platform. So this is a fully open run massive MIMO deployment that is commercial live traffic now in Vietnam and we scale to thousands of sites this year. The other is a Docomo deployment. We have been selected by NTT Docomo in Japan for, uh, with our Dragonwind X100 card, right? So this is very important because it shows that Open Run can be useful and deployed in a very competitive market from a price perspective and cost perspective, like in Vietnam, and very competitive market from a performance perspective, like Docomo. Docomo is recognized to be very hard network to get in, right? So I think it's been very exciting for us to move to this phase of development to operability and finally to commercialization. And then I, I got a chance to visit the Vietel booth and check out some of the radios. And you know, I mean, it occurs to me while they're headquartered in Vietnam and they have a network in Vietnam, they also operate in a number of other markets. So it seems like you have some opportunities there as well, right? Uh, absolutely. So we have, a, so this is just the start. We have growth opportunity because of Vietnam as other areas, both in Latin America and Southeast Asia. So they are planning to take that platform and deploy elsewhere. And even from a, you know, from a financial perspective, from a revenue perspective, it's important because all these networks are networks that are starting to deploy 5G now. So it's, it's different than going into a developed country where 5G has already been deployed for four years and the number of sites available are not many. This we're talking about tens of thousands of sites available for us to deploy. And so it's a big opportunity. And then also in the case of Docomo, Docomo is this initiative which is Oryx, that they're also taking our solution and look at developing that in other, with collaboration with other operators in other parts of the world. So it's actually both vectors of great, great growth opportunities. Yeah, so I mean, back to your point, you have a uh, focus and uh, success in emerging markets where there's a lot of cost sensitivity and you're having success in markets where there's an expectation of very quality performance. So I mean, it seems like the technological impediments are falling away. So it's maybe just a, a business problem at this it, point, right? It, it is, it is an ecosystem problem more than anything at this point, I think we, uh, we think that the open run specification is mature enough, both for non-massive MIMO and massive MIMO use case. Uh, we think that the technology with our introduction of the silicon technology that we have provided, which is at the best technology node available in the industry, I think gives you a performance that is equivalent, if not superior to traditional run. So it's just about operator getting used to the process and getting convinced about the new ecosystem and development. So what are some realistic expectations for continued adoption of Open RAN globally over the next maybe two, three years? So I think, as I said, we see uh, interest enough for these developing countries to be maybe at the, at the edge of, of the uh, technology process on this guys, maybe more than uh, developed countries where there is a more installed basis. So we see very growth opportunity. And I said, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of sites in the next couple of years in all these different opportunities. We're working also with uh, uh, other operators and other vendors which are not public yet. So I still, I really see this as a turning moment uh, in the next couple of years. Excellent, well Gerardo, congratulations thank on these cluster announcements and thank you for taking the time to catch up with me. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.